This is GMAX 1.2 for the beginning modeler, video number 18, Finish the Fuselage, part 1. <clears throat> the objectives in this video are to remove the spinner in the rear of the uh, fuselage area here and name it appropriately and then finish off the, uh, that, the end after I open it up after that move <clears throat> and then to add in the crankcase the engine crankcase uh, housing area here and finish that out and then to uh, remove the cockpit area here cut that out and extrude it and uh, we'll have those parts done then we'll have in the subsequent video uh, or videos <coughs> some gun ports to put up here cannon ports gun ports and the uh, center gear uh, your bay doors to cut in here and that will pretty much finish out the fuselage component of this so let's get started okay selection we're going to select polys we'll zoom region zoom here and we're just going to uh, make sure that ignore back facing is off so we get all the polys we're looking at here and the ones on the other side and capture all of this right here. We're going to detach this and name it prop zero underscore still, which is the official uh, name for an animated prop in FS8 and 9. And now that we have that done, <coughs> we need to kind of finish it out. There's left to open hole in the back of it and uh, <clears throat> eventually you'll be able to see that if we don't fix it so we're going to cap that hole and that is done uh, the next thing we're going to do is set the pivot for it center it to object and it <clears throat> because it's an animated part this particular part requires alignment with world and we'll go ahead and reset the scale on it and with that done we can link it then to the fuselage and we're good to go with that. Let's go ahead and hide that bad boy. All right, and then we come back to the fuselage. And having done the, removed that, we now have have an open area back here that we have to deal with. So we're going to cap that, and then <clears throat> because the engine sits back in here in a recessed area, what we want to do is select that poly. And we're going to yeah, make it a little prettier, if you will. So we're going to extrude it just a smidgen here. And then we're going to uh, scale it down just a little to show some uh, skin thickness here. And then we're going to extrude it inward. Yeah, just enough to give it the look that we need since the spinner is going to be here. You're not going to see all that anyhow. So, uh, that part is done for now. All right, with that done, we want next to build the uh, engine crankcase housing area. And this three view, I think, attempts to show that back here but it's not done correctly. I know that because I have a picture of it. So you can see the shape of this opening here and, and then it uh, curves well down to accommodate the, uh, the crankcase uh, cover, the oil crankcase cover, and then uh, smoothly comes back up and rejoins the fuselage here. And we got a gradual arc here to the sides and then a, a much better bend at the bottom and then up on the other side. So that's what we're going to attempt to do. We can see that this starts well behind this panel that comes down from the uh, canopy. So that kind of gives us some hints as to where that starts. So I'm going to start that like right here. And I don't know just exactly how wide this is, but I think, oops, I think these are the polys that we're going to be working with. We'll see how wide that looks. Yeah, that looks right. Alright, back to left and E for zoom. We'll 
I'll pick up the rest of these polys. All the way back to here. Now I don't want the ones inside here, so we'll carefully deselect them. Uh, I forgot to turn off ignore back facing. You have to be careful about that because you'll end up selecting or deselecting things that you shouldn't. Okay, let's see. That uh, looks looks pretty good. Comes all the way back. All right, let's uh, now extrude this down to about this area here. While we're down here, let's uh, notice that it it group we group extruded, so it kind of took the average of all of these poly face directions and uh, kind of pull, pulled it to the rear. We want to straighten that mesh back up to there. All right, and then we're going to have to uh, just start shaping this on our own since we don't have any kind of guide. Now on this one, I am going to pull it forward so that we can get this little, little bit of bump out of it there. And now look what I've done. I don't know if you noticed that or not, but I forgot to turn ignore back facing back on. Let's see. Let's make sure we got it. Yeah, we're okay. So, uh, now that we got our getting our act back together and waiting for the coffee to kick in, we're going to let this kind of gradually fall down here to to uh, this area here. Maybe I'm coming up a little, coming down a little bit too easy here. Alright, and then we're going to start the round out. And up. Well, let's see, that looks pretty good actually. In the first cut, yeah. This one looks a little rough. Yeah, that looks more reasonable. Alright, so now what I want to do is see if I can grab these vertices. These two, four actually. Two on this side, two on the other side. What we're going to do is not make the bottom so flat. Remember the curve was uh, kind of gradual here. So we're just going to roll this up a bit. Well, I guess I better go look in the back there because I may be overdoing it. further with the uh, outer ones, so let's hit the F key and get lined up here and pull these off. Let's see if we got them all. Yeah. Alright, now let's go ahead and pull these up some more. May have to pull them in a little bit. Yeah, you know, I thought I would do that. So let's pull that down. I have to tweak that a little bit. Pull both of these down. All right, and then. Uh, I'm going to 
pause this video and just kind of clean this up a little bit. Okay, I got the got the shape out of this I wanted. It's funny, this is the second recording in this video. The first one blew off uh, at the very end, so I had to do it over again. But I went through that very quickly and got exactly what I wanted out of it. Um, <laughs> but anyhow, here we are. We got that part done. And uh, I guess while we're here, we could probably just go ahead and smooth all this. And all that's going to get a smoothing group of one. So we're going to end up with a pretty nice result there. Now, of course, this area is one that has to be recessed. Let's go back to our back facing. We need to extrude this in because uh, that's the way it's supposed to be. So we're going to come in a little bit and then we're going to scale it down a smidgen. Pull it down a little and then pull it back. That should do it. We'll texture that with, uh, you know, something that looks like a, the base of an engine crankcase or something. And that'll look pretty good. All right, so that part's done. Now let's uh, needs to be smooth and all that, but <coughs> you understand that by now, I hope. If not, we'll get into that more of that later. But anyhow, now we're going to go select the uh, cockpit seating area. There you go. Always got to make sure that uh, you got this guy working for you over here. Ignore back facing or not, because as you just saw what I went through, it can be meaningful. What we're going to do is uh, extrude this down, and it this will become the floor but later it's going to be replaced with the actual floor which is part of the uh, pilot entry and exit system which is rather complicated. The first thing we're going to do is extrude it and get it down here somewhere and it, that'll work for now and then uh, we we'll want to flatten that floor out so we're just going to go down to the bottom here and say make planar. And what that does is flatten the floor, for, flatten those polys for you and say make planar it makes them flat. So that, uh, that worked out just fine. Alright so that part's taken care of and uh, that's what we needed to achieve in this video. Let's uh, uh, unhide the spinner now and knock off the see through here. One other thing we need to do on that spinner is to create a bit of a break here. And actually scale that down just it. Scale that down just a little bit. That should be should be good. So we got a little break here. You can tell it's a separate part. You can see all the new stuff we added in there. And uh, it may be a little bit too much. Alright, we'll leave it there. So that's uh, that's our uh, middle to, to rear end finished up, and uh, when we come back uh, next video, we're going to be adding gun ports and uh, cutting gun ports into the nose of this fuselage, and finish off that part, and then after that, we'll cut in the doors. So thanks for jumping in. Comment if you'd like, and uh, look forward to seeing you on the next video.